There's a difference between family and blood. Not everyone can be trusted. My husband, James St. Patrick, was ghost. A criminal, kingpin, drug dealing, murdering mother. Your father's image is in need of a little whoosh. What you doing here, Frank? Lorenzo said to hit you up. Whatever happens in our house, it stays in our house. There's only two ways you're going to end up, either dead or in jail. What can you find out for me on a kid named Tyreek St. Patrick? What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, it's your homie, Futuristic Mike, and I'm back with another Power Book 2 Ghost video if you're new. Now, this is going to be the What to Expect video for Power Book 2 Ghost Season 1, Episode 2. The title is Exceeding Expectations. If you're a fan of power, if you love power, hit the like on this video. If you're new to my channel and this is the first time you're finding me, subscribe and turn on those post notifications so when I post videos on Power Book 2 Ghost, you get them. Now the description to episode 2 reads, Haunted by the legacy of his father, Tariq tries to understand who James St. Patrick was to the people in his life. So in this episode, it seems like he's going to be talking to multiple people about who James St. Patrick really was, and he's going to be haunted by the fact that he actually killed his own father, that he pulled the trigger on his dad, his one and only dad. Now when the trailer first starts, we see Tariq, Diana, Monet, and Zeke. They're all at the dinner table. It looks like Tariq got invited to dinner by Zeke. It seems like Zeke really likes Tariq. It seems like they're bonding pretty well. He just moved into the room with Zeke, so we'll see if there become some problems between the two. There's definitely going to be some problems between Tariq and the Tejada family in the future. We've seen in the trailer that Monet was saying that she really can't trust Tariq. And she was trying to get information on Tariq and everything. So Monet says there's a difference between family and blood. You can't trust everybody. So she's definitely going to give Tariq a chance. She's going to give him a shot. She's going to give him a shot to show her that he can be trusted. But I'm not sure if he's going to succeed in this. We know Tariq has screwed many people over in the past. Hopefully he doesn't do that anymore. He's growing up. He's becoming his own man. Hopefully he doesn't make so many stupid decisions. But Monet is testing him at this point. She really is testing him and he's going to get involved with her. And I don't know if it's going to end up too good for him because Kane is one crazy dude. If Tariq gets on Kane's bad side, I wouldn't want to be Tariq. Tariq seriously better think twice before messing around with the Tejadas. You know, Tariq was messing around with Dre and all types of other people before. But I feel like when it comes to Dre and all the people he was messing around with before, they weren't as likely to kill him as Kane and the Tejadas are. I feel like they're ruthless and they don't care. We seen Monet in the first episode. She told Kane to do what he had to do. And she literally drove Kane to shoot this dude. So next we see Ghost Funeral, Rashad Tate, and a couple other people are carrying his casket. And then we hear Tasha say, my husband was a criminal, drug dealing, murdering mother. Then we see Rashad Tate and everybody else putting the casket underneath the ground. You know, they're lowering the casket underneath the ground. And I guess we got to say goodbye to Ghost officially. And then we see Simon Stern talking to Tariq. And we're going to see Simon Stern try to run Tariq like he tried to do with Ghost. Simon Stern literally tried to control Ghost. And I have a feeling he's going to try to do that with Tariq too. I just have a feeling nothing good is going to come out of Tariq and Simon meeting up. I already know because nothing good came out of it when Simon and Ghost were meeting up. Then we get to Kane talking to this character right here. And this character is going to be played by David Zayas. And he's been in so many things. I know if you guys have watched Dexter, the show back in the day with Michael C. Hall. If you guys have watched that show, then you definitely know who this dude is. He played Angel Batista on that show. And apparently he's going to be related to the Tejada family. I don't know if he's related to Lorenzo or what. But Monet is saying, what are you doing here? And he said that Lorenzo told him to hit Monet up. So we just got to wait and see what his involvement is in all of this stuff. The drug operation and the whole family. Then we get to Kane and Tariq. It seems like they're meeting up outside in an alley or outside the house or something. And Kane is telling Tariq, like, look, what happens in the house stays in the house. Because Tariq is probably out there telling people stuff about the Tejadas. Or maybe Kane is just saying that just to warn Tariq. He's just letting him know, like, look. You don't need to be running your mouth because if you run your mouth, then we're going to have a problem. Then we get to Ghost's uncle. 
Remember, he was in episode 10 of season 6. He was in Ghost last episode, and now we're going to get to see him again. I was wondering if we were going to see him again. But anyways, he's telling Tariq, there's only two ways you're going to end up, dead or in jail. And he's not wrong, man. He's not wrong. He probably knows what Tariq is doing. You know, he's not stupid. He's catching on to exactly what Tariq is doing. He knows that Tariq is following in Ghost's footsteps. Hopefully, if he sticks around, he can be a positive influence to Tariq. Then we see a party where people are turning up. We see Brayden there. People are drinking. You know, Tariq probably sold drugs to these kids. Maybe Brayden sold drugs to these kids. I don't know, but these kids are turning up. Then we see Tariq counting that cash. You know, he's trying to make the rest of that money for Davis McLean. You already know he's going to get the money one way or another, whether he hustles it up or robs somebody. But best believe Tariq is going to get that money. Then we see Tariq and Yaz standing over a ghost casket. And this is going to be their last goodbye to Ghost. You know, it's kind of sad because Yaz didn't even really know Ghost like that. So she's going to have a lot of questions about her father. I'm starting to wonder if maybe when Tasha gets out of jail to go to a funeral, I'm starting to wonder if it is her mother's funeral. Because then we see Tasha in jail right here. And then all the other clips, we see people at Ghost's funeral. So Tasha hasn't got out of jail yet to come to the funeral. So I wonder if when she gets out of jail and gets all dressed up and everything, they let her out of jail to go to her mother's funeral. Hmm, I don't know. It's just something to think about, y'all. So just think about that. Next, we see Kane, and of course, he's killing somebody else. He's shooting somebody else that's laying on the ground or whatever. Kane does not play around. So far, all the action that has been taking place in this show is from Kane. Then we get to Monet, and she's talking to this cop that she has in her pocket, and she's saying, I need you to get all the information you have on Tyreek St. Patrick. And then that's the end of the trailer. Now, this episode looks so damn good. The first episode was fire. It was absolutely incredible in my opinion. But I just have a feeling, I have a gut feeling that the second episode is going to be a thousand times better. You know, the first episode was so good, but I just know the second episode is going to be so much better. You know, I feel like each episode is going to get better and better. This show is amazing so far. I just got to say, once again, shout out to Courtney Kemp, 50 Cent, all the people that are involved in making this show. You did a phenomenal job. And I absolutely cannot wait to see the next episode. But that's what you guys can expect from episode two, titled Exceeding Expectations. We're going to see Tariq haunted by the idea of him killing Ghost. And we're going to see him learning about Ghost in his past and stuff like that. So it's going to be interesting to see. I'm curious how it's all going to play out. And I just can't wait, man. Comment your theories, predictions, and everything else down below. Keep supporting your boy, and I'll be continuing to bring y'all Power Book 2 Ghost content in the future. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you can never miss a video. Let me get out of here, y'all. It's your boy Futuristic Mike, and I'll talk to you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.